Now, you know, singing is, is my first love as well. And I see on here, you studied opera? Uh, with Eugenia Suti, an Italian uh, uh -huh. teacher that she lived in Mexico. Okay. So we studied opera, yeah. Wow. It's very demanding. It's very demanding. You find it? Well, yeah, I understand that. <laughs> I, I was working on the song Ness and Dorma. Oh, oh. It took me about a week to w learn one word. It was in Italian, but it's then Italian. applying the opera. Yeah. So I can relate. That's why I'm like, oh, tell me more about I know, your but, opera but you, but you are a very gifted uh, Thank singer. You. No, no, you are. You are. Listen. <laughs> Thank you. So when you, said, when you said it took me a week, I kind of, I kind of don't believe you. What? Because you could do that song in two minutes if you want. Uh, yeah. uh, uh. Right? right? Uh, yeah. yeah. I had tons of teachers. Okay. <laughs> and, and your father didn't want you to do entertainment? No, not at all. My father was a businessman. Okay. So he was like, you have to pursue business and you have to do... The, and I'm like, but I, but I don't feel happy. I don't find happiness in business. And Sigmund Freud used to say that... that uh, a human should feel the same happiness and satisfaction um, at their job as they felt with their toys. And I've not, never heard that. Yeah, and not many people have the privilege. I mean, some, some, or, some jobs are very tough and some jobs are, are very difficult. Right. But some of us, we have the privilege and the gift to, be, to, to do what we love. Mm -hmm. yeah. that, that's a passion, yes. I would say, your yeah. passion. And to me, the definition of a career when you can do what you love to make your living, right? 100%. So yeah. I agree with that as well. Mm -hmm. Wow, mm -hmm. okay. You got a lot of big things going on. You're getting ready to celebrate your wedding anniversary? Uh, not, not yet because, <laughs> okay, we have many weddings, my many wife and I. Many weddings? Yes, What yes. does that mean? Yeah, well, we have the, the, the green card wedding. The one, don't, don't, don't go there, please. Let me explain. Green card, I've never heard you say it. It is the love of my, in Mexico, we say, el amor de mi visa, the love of my visa. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no, stop it. No, it's, um, we got married because I was doing the green card process for my family. So yes. my immigration lawyer was like, would you want to include your family? I'm like, sure. And then they were like, well, yeah, USCIS is asking about your marriage certificate. I'm like, just tell them we got married at a Mayan ceremony with a shaman. And he was like, no, dummy, doesn't know. You need a paper. You need like, so we went dressed like that, believe it or not, with our daughter, Elena, to the Ventura County clerk. And we got married. So that, of course, that was the wedding. every single red flag that you can imagine for, for immigration, because we, <laughs> we <laughs> filed the green card and the authorities were like, oh, he got married yesterday. <laughs> and then filed the green card. So they thought I, I had purchased my wife. B but I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> Because Are she, we keeping up, everybody? Yeah. Okay. Because she's Mexican, and if I dare to say something like that, I will be in trouble. And then we had a marriage, a normal wedding. Okay. Like a normal a party with a reception, and we went to the church, and we did, we did it right. But that was only the, for the green card. Oh, that's my beautiful wife. <laughs> she is gorgeous. And your baby's gorgeous, too. Thank you so much. Oh we have two. Two? We have Jaime, uh -huh. just turned nine, and Elena uh, just turned 12. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.